I'm sure that we should understand better uh, the pathogenesis, how the disease develops, how we can make it visible what goes on in the brain, but especially in order to find uh, markers which tell us what the prognosis of the disease, uh, disease cause can be. Because patients always are more interested in the prognosis than in the diagnosis. Diagnosis is just a label, MS, and interest for them is how will I be in a year's time, in 10 years time, etc. And we cannot predict it clearly, but we are looking for uh, biomarkers which give an indication as to the development of the disorder. Of course I have a bias because I know Hans Lassmann so long and I know that he's just the best in neuropathology and I feel that neuropathology is still the basis of our understanding of what is going on. In the, in the brain and spinal cord of MS patients and so it's clearly his Ectrim's lecture which fascinated me the most. And I was also pleased on the other hand that we were allowed uh, to give a, a long talk on rehabilitation in such a scientific based meeting with so such a large audience and this is very important that rehabilitation is really a concept of how to improve quality of life in patients with MS. I just want to encourage them from a long experience of several decades that doing research in MS is very rewarding, although we come not yet to a point of curing the people. But to be close to the patients and take it as a privilege that we as doctors may be so close to people who have a more difficult life than we do have and do something for them and that we want to base what we are doing for them on evidence which is gained from scientific research. So young people continue in that way and I always had hoped over these decades that I would become superfluous, that I would be not needed anymore because MS can be cured. But that is something for the future generation, so encourage.